what's up guys as you can see I'm reacting to my Fred Hicks video welcome to car freak enthusiast and yeah this video is so unappreciated this video that we're currently watching just so that we could put something on in the background is so unappreciated it's probably one of my best made videos yet on that ch on the Fred Hicks channel. These videos I promise will be better, I promise. Like so yeah. We this is gonna be the first video of this channel and I forgot to say welcome. As you can see as you're new you need to subscribe to our channel. And don't worry, we won't give out death threats. At least not yet. Wait, what? Anyway, there's also the gaming channel, Curse Master Games. I'll link that below in the description as well. Gosh, I really... I know there wasn't really much to film in this video. But still, it's just, it was so unappreciated. That was a nice Porsche, by the way. But yeah, I'm not going to record this video fully. Hopefully YouTube don't copyright me, because these are my videos, YouTube, If in case if you're watching YouTube. These are my f videos from Fred Hicks' channel, and... I'm the one who made them, so don't copyright strike me, or I will be upset at you, you two. Although this channel is probably too low to do such a thing like that. <laughs> I remember that fake Ferrari thing, but yeah. I remember a lot of me was just like walking around and all that. Everywhere and every place, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna, how about we cut to a different video to make you more interested. Well, after this part, because you know, it's a little bit of an acceleration. Okay, we're just gonna cut to the part. One of my more dumber videos was me recording an MX-5 Miata because I somehow thought that was a cool car. And in some ways it is. It's I remember that one being a 6-speed, 5-speed manual at the target top. I mean, it was nice. But I know it wasn't really a little special car. I wasn't trying to advertise O'Daniel, by the way. So yeah, I'll cut to something else because it reminds me I have a story to tell. There. So <laughs> this video, I know it's not really special. Sad thing is that Friday I was dumb enough not to film the Jeep because that Jeep right where my mouse is at literally accelerated on Thursday and it sounded really incredible and oh I was so dumb I was so dumb not to film that it it was a really good sounding Jeep it really was most likely straight piped in my opinion but but how about we do another video? Yeah. I was debating if I wanted to do this or not, but I accidentally did it, and here we are. I was at the Gilmore Museum when this was taking place, or were, not taking place, but this is where I was at, and it's a DeLorean. I actually get. You're actually allowed to sit in it, so that's why I did get to sit in it. 
Yes, I have hairy legs as well. Ignore that. It's a really interesting car overall. I forgive me guys, but I noticed that I noticed that if we go back to here that this has like a classic car on it. I noticed that the first time. I know I'm so dumb, guys. But yeah. One thing I am going to tell you guys real quickly is that my dad did actually see a Bugatti at the Auburn Court Duesenberg Museum. A long time ago, though. It was a very long time ago. Like, I, it was probably, it, it was a long time ago. Probably, like, two, anywhere from 2005 to 2008. And what evidence shows that is because... I remembered him telling me the exact description. Tires would burn out in 8 minutes at full bore acceleration. and Fuel would burn out in 10 minutes. Or, no, actually I probably got flip-flop. Fuel would burn out in 8 minutes and the tires would t burn out in 10. Both at full bore acceleration. And he told me that also the car he saw went 254 miles per hour. Just like the Bugatti Veyron. And I showed him the front, I showed him a picture of a Bugatti Veyron, and he's like, yeah, that looks familiar. So there you go. There you go. I don't know if I forgot to tell you this or not, but I guess this is a reminder, I suppose. I do have a gaming channel, I will link it after this, after this video is done, even though it will be shortly. Yeah. It was cool experience. Oh, you probably heard my Discord message go off. Hang on, let me go check it real quickly. Alright, guys. Sorry for that long awaited interference, even though for you it was like a few seconds, one second. <laughs> but yeah, we're checking out my Old Town Car Show video I did on the Fredix channel. I was dumb enough because over there there was a black 45A and an 812 super fast. Not on this side, the other side. SVJ Pirelli edition. And it, I was dumb enough not to film that because that was the first part of the car show. And this is like when they were just before they wanted to leave. Which I have the video. Which I also, we're going to check out that video. Real, right after, right now. So, yeah, this is them leaving. It's a really good thing. I'll try not to talk too much or pause too much. Although one thing I would like to say is that this is my obviously my first time seeing an SVJ and SV. Earlier there was an S, which, <laughs> funny thing was, was that that Aventador S, that was, or I don't know if it was an S or not, it was definitely a Roadster that came here earlier when we were at the show, was that same one that appeared in the Strata video, like you remember from the Strata video where he's like, this Aventador Roadster sold for that much, you know, it, it was like a silver Aventador, it had the orange interior. That was the same thing of what I saw in that video. Anyway, I'll let you continue. I'll continue playing the video. I was so shocked to see the STO by the way. The way that felt when the Aventador revved twice was the way that one Aventador revved was it. I felt like it vibrated my chest. 
we were in an echo chamber. I was trying to get the shot of the LC 500. Quite the cool moment of the car show. This is where it felt like it vibrated my chest. And I know this video is gonna cut off, and I know I didn't really like, get much of them leaving and all that. That's because at this moment, I ran a storage space to film. So yeah guys, I don't know if you could see this, but be sure to check out Triad Films, which is my best friend's channel by the way. And be sure to check out my gaming channel, Link will, both links will be down in the description, or as you can see the name, but definitely gotta link this one because it's gonna be hard to find. Triad Films, you just gotta type the Triad Films, like that, and I'll link this. So yeah, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel, hopefully you all enjoyed. This is Cur not Chris Pastor Games, wrong channel, <laughs> we're on Car Freak Enthusiast. Um, but yeah, this is Car Freak Enthusiast signing out for the first time, peace.